Hello friends, welcome to Buy Need Tips. In this class, we are going to see some of the MCQs from the chapter uh, class 9, Fundamental Unit of Life. So the first question is, assertion, a cell swells up when present in a hypotonic solution. And the reason here it is given as more water molecules enter the cell than they leave. So we know that a cell swells up when it is present in a hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution means water outside the cell is more and solute concentration inside the cell is more. Okay, water is more outside and solute is less here. Okay. So, reason more water molecules enter the cell than they leave. So, assertion and reason both are true. And reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Assertion, the endoplasmic reticulum which lacks ribosomes is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And reason, SER is mainly involved in protein synthesis. So, the endoplasmic reticulum which lacks ribosomes is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, this is true. SER is mainly involved in protein synthesis. Okay. So, this SER is mainly involved in protein synthesis is false because smooth endoplasmic reticulum lack ribosomes and they do not get involved in process of protein synthesis but instead Smooth endoplasmic reticulum are involved in the synthesis of lipids. So, assertion is true, reason is false. Assertion, mitochondria and chloroplasts are semi-autonomous organelles. Reason, they are formed by division of pre-existing organelles and contain DNA but lack protein synthesizing machinery. So, we all know that mitochondria and chloroplast are semi-autonomous organelles. We also call them as strange organelles, right? Because they have their own DNA and they are involved in the process where proteins are produced. But here they have given that they are formed by division of pre-existing organelles, which is true, but lack protein. So, this part is false. They do have the protein synthesizing machinery. So, assertion is true reason is false. Okay. Assertion, cell wall is a non-living part of the cell. It offers protection, definite shape and support. So, we all know that cell wall is the non-living part of the cells. The living part of the cell is the organelles and the plasma membrane. And reason, it offers protection, definite shape and support. So, assertion and reason, both are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Cell theory was put forward by Schwann and Sclidin. Reason, it is applicable to all cells including viruses. So, cell theory was put up by Schwann and Sclidin. This is true. Reason here they are given as it is applicable to all cells including viruses. We know that viruses are inactive in nature. We do not consider viruses under living organisms. Okay. Because they do not have a proper cell, uh, cell organelle or a proper machinery. So, they are not included in the cell theory. So, cell theory is applicable only to living cells. So, assertion is true, but reason is false. The number of cells in a multicellular organism is inversely proportional to the size of the body. All cells of biological world are of the same size. So, we know that the number of cells in a multicellular organism is directly proportional to the size of the body. It is not inversely 
it is directly proportional to the size of the body and all cells of biological world of the are of the same size so we know that we have the smallest cell we have the longest cell that is the neuron and the largest cell is the uh, that of the ostrich egg so all cells of the biological world are not of the same size so assertion and reason both are false Neukaryotic cells have membrane bound organelles. Prokaryotes lack membrane bound organelles. So both are true. Eukaryotic cells have membrane bound organelles and prokaryotes lack membrane bound organelles. Both are true. Assertion and reason both are true. But reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Assertion, plants have two types of plastids, leucoplast and chloroplast. Reason, animals have cells, only one type of plastid. Animal cells have only one type of plastids, that is leucoplast. So here again, assertion is true, reason is false. Animal cells do not have plastids. Assertion is true, reason is false. RBC is kept in a hypotonic solution will swell. Reason, movement of water occurs from outside to inside of the cell. So we know that whenever we place a cell in a hypotonic solution, the water enters into the cell. Okay, water enters into the cell from outside to inside. So the cell swells up. So, assertion and reason both are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Going on to the last assertion, outer membrane of mitochondria is folded into cristae and reason cristae increases the surface area. So, if you might have seen the structure of mitochondria, you can see that inside the mitochondria, the inner membrane of the mitochondria is folded into finger-like projections like this. So these finger-like projections inside mitochondria are called as cristae and their function is to increase the surface area for more production of ATP. So here assertion is false because here it says that the outer membrane of mitochondria is folded into cristae which is false the inner membrane is folded into crystal so crystal increases the surface area is true so assertion is false and reason is true so now we are going to see some case study based question where it says that a cell division is the process by which new cells are formed it is of two main types mitosis and meiosis meiosis is only confined to specific cells called meiocytes or reproductive organs or tissues in animals plants various protista and fungi it takes place at a particular time these specific cells divide to form gametes mitosis on the other hand occurs in all kinds of cells and may continue throughout life so how many daughter cells are formed in meiosis in meiosis four daughter cells are formed okay which of the following divisions is also termed as somatic division? Somatic division means non-reproductive division or non-reproductive uh, uh, body parts are involved in somatic division. So mitosis, meiosis, it is mitosis, okay, mitosis takes place in the somatic division or the body cells and meiosis takes place in the reproductive cells which is called a reduction division so mitosis meiosis both a and b none of these meiosis is called as reductional division and mitosis is called as equational division okay so reduction division is meiosis mitosis has how many distinct phases so there are four distinct phases in mitosis. 
in which cell division does the chromosome number becomes half so it is meiosis just now we saw that meiosis is called reductional division so the chromosome number reduces from 44 to 22 that is 46 to 23 yeah So this is a picture given here of mitochondria. Which of the following has their own DNA and ribosomes? Mitochondria, plastid, both of them, none of them. So it is both of them. Both mitochondria and plastid have their own DNA and ribosome. We call them as semi-autonomous organelles or strange cell organelles. So the answer is both of them. This is the figure of mitochondria, plastid, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies. So this is the figure of mitochondria. Its inner membrane is folded to increase surface area for exchange of gas, to increase surface area for absorption of food, to increase surface area for filtration of blood, to increase surface area for production of energy. So, we all know that exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. So, this is not an option. Absorption of food takes place in small intestine. This is also not an option. Filtration of blood takes place in the kidney. So, this is also not an option. Here, to increase surface area for production of energy. Energy is in the form of ATP. Okay. So, just now we discussed in assertion and reason that inner membranes are folded into structures called as cristae okay so cristae are folded in order to produce more energy that is atp so to increase the surface area for production of energy is the right answer in which of the following organism above organelle is not present so bacteria plant animal and fungi so the option is bacteria. So in bacteria, they do not have mitochondria. So since bacterial cell is a prokaryotic cell, the above organelle is not present. This is also called kitchen of the cell, brain of the cell, synthesizer of the cell, powerhouse of the cell. So the answer is powerhouse of the cell. So, there is a paragraph given here about cell theory. Now, who discovered the cell? We all know that Robert Hooke in the year 1665 discovered the cell, right? So, Robert Hooke is the right answer, which does not follow cell theory. Bacteria, fungi, amoeba, virus. So, virus are not included in the cell theory as they are considered as non-living. Who gave cell theory? Leeuwenhoek, Schwann and Schleiden, Robert Brown, Perkins. So, the cell theory was given by Schwann and Schleiden. We all know this. Okay. Apparatus which is used to magnify image is telescope, microscope, petri dish, periscope. So, we know that the object which is used to magnify images are called as microscope. Who discovered living cell? Now, you have to uh, be very careful with this answer because living cells or free animal cues were discovered by Levin Hook. Cells were discovered by Robert uh, Hook using uh, cork but living cells were discovered by Leven hook. Okay. So this is the last part of the case study. Mummy kept grams in the vessel and poured water into it and left for whole night. Next day, I found that water had been soaked by the grams. What is this process called? So osmosis, diffusion, endocytosis, phagocytosis. So we know that the process of Movement of water from higher region to lower region through semi-permeable membrane is osmosis. To which water enters into the gram? Cell wall, plasma membrane, vacuole, cytoplasm. So the answer is plasma membrane. What happens if 
cell uh, swell uh, grams are kept in sunlight so when the swollen grams when they are kept in sunlight grams will be shrink grams becomes roasted to eat they get spoiled none of these so we know that when they are kept under sunlight they dehydrate again and loses their water and it will shrink this shows that plasma membrane is flexible plasma membrane is rigid plasma membrane is non living none of these so we know that plasma membrane is a living membrane and it is flexible what happens if resin is kept in water when you take resin or dry grapes what happens is resin will swell up resin will shrink resin will get spoiled none of these so the answer is resin will swell up okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and you have understood the chapter fundamental unit of life thoroughly if you have any doubts you can just post it in the comment box do watch my video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching by nick tips